In today's episode, I'm going to show you seven productivity hacks to help you stop wasting your time. So let's get started. Perspective plans with new videos and podcasts weekly. Join our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash perspective plans for exclusive videos and more. Visit perspectiveplans.com for all of your planner and stationary needs. Only at Perspective Plans, helping you plan for what's to come. Hello everyone, I'm Christina B. Rising and welcome to the Perspective Plan Show, where I cover planner and productivity tips to help you plan for what's to come. Subscribe now for new podcasts and videos weekly so that you won't miss anything. Shop for workbooks, printables, and stickers at PerspectivePlans.com. And last but not least, this episode will not be possible without the support of our Perspective Plans patrons and channel members. Thank you. Now let's get into this episode. Tip 1. Find the four procrastination pillars. There are four procrastination pillars that impact us, per a research study named The Essence of Procrastination. A low-value task. We consider them to be low-value tasks. We attempt to pair unpleasant or dull tasks with delightful ones, whenever possible. To get around this, use deadlines or the two-minute rule. Per personality. Some people are more easily distracted and impulsive than others. Understand your triggers and try to avoid them. Expectations. You're less inclined to put off doing something when you anticipate finding it easy to accomplish it. Revert to the two-minute guideline and finish the task. Missing the mark, procrastinators frequently exhibit a fear of failing. Work on increasing your confidence to achieve modest victories. You might get momentum as a consequence and beat procrastination. Never mistake motion for action. Ernest Hemingway. Tip 2. Quotas. Both macro and micro researchers discovered that abstract thinking is a useful strategy to support discipline in a motivation study. While it's wise to dream big, you need to also consider inner motivational factors. The various studies conducted on the self-determination hypothesis seem to support this. The solution to this issue is macro goals and micro quotas. This implies that your main priority should be your aims. However, quotas represent the daily minimum quantity of labor required to realize your larger objectives. Quotas, in other words, make each day manageable. And as a result, your ambitions become attainable. Tim Ferriss provided this illustration from a buddy who has penned over 60 books. Two crappy pages. This is my quota. Every day, I have to write two crappy pages. That's it. If I write two crappy pages, that day is a win. Multitasking is a lie. Gary Keller. Tip 3. Give yourself two minutes. According to author and businessman James Clear, most of the activities you put off aren't genuinely tough to undertake. You have the aptitude and the abilities to complete them. You just postpone starting them for one reason or another. The two-minute rule eliminates procrastination and inaction by making it so simple to get started that you can't refuse. The first component of this rule is that you should act right away if a task takes two minutes or less to complete. An email reply or putting your laundry in the dryer are two examples. The second component of this rule is that it should just take a few minutes to begin a new habit. Naturally, some chores will take longer than others, but every objective may at least begin in under two minutes. Additionally, this is a powerful method for conquering fear, which is one of the causes of procrastination. The two-minute limit urges us to start immediately, which is more vital. According to research, once we begin a task, we view it as being far less unpleasant than while we were trying to avoid it. Furthermore, even if we don't complete the goal, we have made some progress at least. This provides us a sense of control and optimism and offers us some traction. The key to productivity is to rotate your avoidance techniques. Shannon Wheeler Tip 4. Don't waste time by focusing just on one thing. It is inefficient and one of the largest time wasters out there to multitask. This is so that the brain can only concentrate on one thing at a time. Additionally, research from the University of London's Institute of Psychiatry discovered that multitasking really lowers IQ levels more than not getting enough sleep or using marijuana does. The response? Concentrate on just one thing at a time or even a single task. One thing at a time, please. Avoid becoming distracted. Create a list of priorities and be sure to take breaks often. While one person hesitates because he feels inferior, the other is busy making mistakes and becoming superior. Henry C. Link If you have tried bullet journaling, time blocking, or just plain old to-do lists but haven't found the right solution to manage your time, then it's time to try out the Hourly Planner Bundle. This is the ultimate planner with everything you need to manage your schedule and get things done today. Featuring 300 plus planner pages with and without sidebars, 100 plus event and holiday labels, and over 2,000 plus planner stickers in 14 unique colors. All this and more can be found in our hourly planner bundle, available in two amazing color options at PerspectivePlans.com. Helping you plan for what's to come. 
Tip 5. Give yourself grace. Researchers at Carleton University discovered that self-forgiveness for past procrastination can lower subsequent procrastination in a study involving 119 first-year university students. According to the researchers, forgiveness enables the individual to transcend their maladaptive behavior and concentrate on the impending exam without the weight of previous acts to interfere with studying. Because forgiving oneself for delaying has the good impact of preventing subsequent procrastination by diminishing negative emotion connected with the outcome of a test. This strategy could be highly effective. To put it in another way, we frequently avoid making poor decisions. The remorse of wasted time will keep coming back. But you can stop that pattern if you can forgive yourself. What looks like multitasking is really switching back and forth between multiple tasks, which reduces productivity and increases mistakes by up to 50%. Susan Kane. Tip 6. Pomodoro Your Life Francesco Cirillo developed this time management tool. He divides your time into pomodoros or time blocks. One pomodoro is around 25 minutes of focused work, followed by three to five minute rests. The goal is to work hard on a job for a predetermined amount of time and then take a little rest. It's best to take a lengthier pause between 15 and 30 minutes following a four pomodoro session. The pomodoro technique aims to increase focus and reduce multitasking. Those pauses are also intended to reboot and recharge your brain. Additionally, these pauses, according to a study by experts at New York University, can enhance your memory and recall. Sameness leaves us in peace, but it is contradiction that makes us productive. John and Wolfgang von Goethe. Tip 7. Set priorities as though you were going on vacation. Consider your day as if you were embarking on a long, lengthy voyage without access to the internet tomorrow. How do you behave? You delegate, right? What exactly do you ditch? Gwen Moran asked in a Fast Company article. According to time management specialist and life coach Steve Chandler, when the stakes are higher, you become more hyper-aware and effective. You're not wasting time on tasks that are unnecessary. Over the long run, the unglamorous habit of frequency fosters both productivity and creativity. Gretchen Rubin. Tip 8. Establish and follow to deadlines. A 2002 MIT research discovered that procrastination may be controlled by deadlines. The real kicker is right here. You need to tell someone who will hold you accountable about that deadline. According to Gal Davis of Plan Writer, if you don't employ defined time boundaries for projects and goals, things drag. Just go on forever and, and interest can even wane. If there is no deadline, there is no urgency. And whatever you are working for could never materialize, allowing your rivals to strengthen their market position. The CEO of Company Shortcuts, Nicola Cook, continues, time frames foster a sense of urgency and increases your momentum. Speed is produced by momentum. Money also enjoys speed. There is something eternal and energizing about that, despite the fact that it may be a very capitalist worldview. Time limit boosts productivity. Work gets done. Knowledge is the source of wealth. Applied to tasks we already know. It becomes productivity. Applied to tasks that are new, it becomes innovation. Peter Drucker. Tip 9. Actively begin the day. Being proactive is essential to making the most of your time. Set significant goals to begin the day with intention. With your crew, you may try to launch a new endeavor or just try to get the essentials done for the week. The goals can be as huge or as modest as you wish, as long as you are clear, doable, and reasonable. On the other hand, there is no plan in place. Time will be wasted. This is a reactive position. You just respond to people and circumstances that are beyond your control as you go about your day. Your energy will be used by doing this, and at the end of the day, you won't have accomplished anything worthwhile. According to research, goal setting has a significant impact on proactive behavior. Setting goals can help you stay motivated, and achieving your daily goals will fill you with enthusiasm that will carry you through the next. If you want an easy job to seem mighty hard, just keep putting it off. Richard Miller. Tip 10. Audit your time. How do you avoid squandering your time if you don't know where it goes? Knowing exactly how you spend your time each day offers a foundation for where you can make improvements. Making the most of your time is beneficial for more than simply productivity. According to research, effective time management also improves your well-being to a larger extent. Work hard, have fun, and make history. Jeff Bezos. And here's our bonus tip if you made it this far into the video. Cut down on or reroute interruptions. The typical worker is interrupted 50 times every day. Whether by phone calls or unplanned meetings, this is unavoidable. Life is not always planned, accidents occur, crises arise, and dealing with them is a part of life. Nevertheless, interruptions can cause one to lose focus, and trying to recover from them is time consuming. To retain productivity without losing concentration, you may discover strategies to limit or reroute the interruptions that disrupt your day the most. If you can identify these disruptions, you can find ways to do so. 
Try turning your workplace so it faces away from the window to lessen your distractions. You can close your door while concentrating intensely on the task or set aside time in your virtual schedule to complete it without interruption. Don't deactivate your email program if receiving fresh emails constantly distracts you. Instead, schedule a certain time each day to check your mailbox. If you want something done, give it to a busy man, Preston Sturgis. Create a budget that works for you and track your debt, monthly bills, savings, expenses, cash envelopes, sinking funds, savings challenges, and more. This budget planner is perfect to take control of your finances even if you are a beginner and just started your financial journey. Featuring 200 plus planner pages with and without sidebars, over 1500 planner stickers in 14 unique colors, and 50 plus quote layering stickers that allow you to customize the background to match your planner style. All this and more can be found in the Budget Planner Bundle, available in two amazing color options at PerspectivePlans.com. Share this awesome episode with someone you know who needs it to help them plan for what's to come. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I hate for you to miss the next episode. Now let's get into our recap. So let's do a quick recap just in case you missed a tip. Tip one, find the four procrastination pillars. Tip two, quotas, both macro and micro. Tip three, give yourself two minutes. Tip four, don't waste time by focusing on just one thing. Tip five, give yourself grace. Tip six, Pomodoro your life. Tip seven, set priorities as though you were going on vacation. Tip eight, establish and follow through with deadlines. Tip nine, actively begin the day. Tip 10, audit your time. And our bonus tip, cut down on or reroute your interruptions. Productivity is the deliberate strategic investment of your time, talent, intelligence, energy, resources, and opportunities in a manner calculated to move you measurably closer to the meaningful goals. Dan S. Kennedy. I just want to take a moment to thank our patrons and channel members. This episode would not be possible without your support. Thank you. And if you would like to support the show, visit patreon.com forward slash perspective plans today. Thank you so much for stopping by and pressing play. I truly appreciate it. Let me know down below in the comments or your podcast review what tip you'll be using. Keep planning for what's to come and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.